Good afternoon, everyone. Xiao Hao. Dakeho. Yato Ho, ma. Sensei to chip young time, mat, la de vatoi. I think we die out so counting it yet. Don't need to worry because after that, the government say less than one meter you can squeeze together. But do you need to wait until 26 April to squeeze together? So you are telling me that outside this MRT station where we are at now, there is COVID if we stand close to each other. But once we pay the SMRT, we pay our transport fee, we go inside the gantry, then there is no more COVID. We can squeeze together, we can sit side by side. There are people talking on the phone, there are people coming towards you coughing, quarrelling on the train, and that is okay. No COVID will pass. But of course, our Singapore government like to come up with a lot of regulations. And today, I've been told that I'm here to share my life experience as a mother of tree under tree. So what is the meaning of tree under tree? Tree under tree means I have three kids, and my first child is not even three years old yet. So it's some mama in Singapore, the 35% is Singapore's marriage rate. What does this mean? This means 65% of the people in Singapore will never get married. 65% the people in Singapore Because the Singapore government say our housing is affordable. Healthcare is affordable and Singaporeans can live so comfortably and therefore Singaporeans don't want to reproduce for the next generation. But if Singaporeans really can live comfortably and will not struggle, will Singaporeans not want to get married? Will Singaporeans not want to have their own kids? No! So what does this mean? Statistically, it has shown only 35% of Singaporeans still got hope on our government. 65% of the Singapore population, they give up. They just live until now, they don't even know whether they can see their CPF money. Raho to Tiang Su Chi Lo. Ani Kwan e Jing Hu. Yo Kwa Woman Ren Le, Woman Xia Yi Tai de Sun Huo Ma. Yo Mei Yo. The Singapore government say our housing is being taken care of. If our housing is being taken care of, why do you Do you know that more than 10% of the Singapore population actually owe their water bill, owe their PUB bills, owe their utility bills? A total of 150,000 households in Singapore, out of about 1.3 million households, that's more than 10%. They don't even have like $250 inside. Then if you have no water for the Singapore government, what is their mouth? The Singapore government's mouth is the most important part of the money. So if you have no money for them, you don't have the water for the Singapore government. Why do you help them? They help you. They help you. You have a good thing? No. They help you. 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 So they will just cut off your electricity if you don't pay them $250. This is how the Singapore government cares for you. This is how the Singapore government claims they care for the lower income people in the Singapore. Is this correct? Is this what we want our future generation to be? And precisely because of this, people dare not get married. Only 35%. And for those who get married, how many people will have three kids? In Singapore, not only our birth rate is one of the world lowest at about 1.1, it even went all the way down to historical low. What does this mean? Look at them, three brothers and sisters. They end up in a 
，他还可以管一个国家吗？他还会关心我们的人民吗？ Want to wish us a happy Lunar New Year? Tell us we must be united. Ask him go and unite with his own brother and sister la. And next, they tell us healthcare is affordable. Trust in the Singapore healthcare system. But what do we know? You go to the hospital A and E with a pregnant tummy, and then two hours later you are still bleeding. After that, you wake up a dead baby in front of you. Then you, after grieving for your dead baby, you have to go and say, "Oh, my baby, ah,、uh, may not have died in the hospital." Everybody can see through this kind of nonsense, ah.、Uh. You all can see through or not? Only who cannot see through? The PAP supporters cannot see through. Why? Because they have been brainwashed. PAP say, "Lu bo pa jiu, yi lang jiu si bo pa jiu." PAP say. 哎、欸，我人是真好诶，伊人就是真好诶。那是真诶，安尼好，两小时无医生，两个小时没有医生跟他看病，最后孩子这样流掉。If you are a mother, you will know by 28 weeks. If you have a cesarean, your baby can be born. Even if the baby is inside the neck, yo, your baby is alive. So people will say, "Oh, you talk so much. Then what's your example?" My example is from the moment I reached the hospital to the moment my baby was out. The entire process was less than one hour, and there was no doctor. And I raised concern about this years ago. If the government had changed, if our system had improved, will a mother go to a hospital has no doctor for two hours and end up waking up to a dead baby on her body? People will say, "Ah,、uh, this is isolated incident." Yeah, maybe because this post. This case went on social media. It went viral. So now it's an isolated viral incident. How many incidents are not reported because they didn't go viral? How many babies are being miscarried this way, which caused our Singapore birth rate to reach historical low? You 关心新加坡人民，可是他们的物质你没有管，人家没有钱还水电费，你就 cut off their electricity. When people have no money for their healthcare. You don't care when they can't afford to go to private hospital. Have to go to your restructured hospital. Two hours, no doctor. How many of such cases? And this is just on our housing and our healthcare system. So people talk about, oh, the government is not bad, leh. The government give us the CDC voucher. Yeah, the CDC voucher. Is it for all the households in Singapore? No. It's only for three room flat and below. So what about people who, during the olden days, believed in the Singapore government's propaganda? They went to buy four-room flat, five-room flat. Then they are forced to downgrade. So if they cannot sell their house because of a pandemic and they cannot downgrade, do these people get the CDC voucher? No, because the Singapore government thinks that you people don't deserve it, but they deserve their million-dollar salary. Is this correct or not? 自己拿薪水拿这样搞，我们只是跟他讲，你如果要给，就全新加坡的每一个名户都给。可是呢，他不是家家户户都给。But when election come, you can see them going to every single household. It's just that when there's benefit, they will not go to every single household. What kind of government is this? It's called hypocrite. Hypocritical government. 这块政府是无良心的，伊把都收伊人家去，伊人无收讲人民的生活。And next, a lot of people say, "Oh, you know, inflation is only two to four percent. It's not that bad. Is inflation really two to four percent?" Twenty years ago, I was in primary school. When we go out and eat. A bowl of noodle, a plate of rice, fifty cent. If you take fifty cent compound interest at two percent or four percent, how much you get? You need to use fifty cent compound interest at more than ten percent, then you get three four dollar, which is today's current price. So the real inflation in Singapore today is actually more than ten percent for the past twenty years. 
What kind of nonsense is the PAB government telling us? He got a degree in mathematics. He don't know how to use, is it? Don't know how to count, is it? He said that the inflation rate is only 2.8% and 4.8%. You take it to 20 years ago, 5 years ago, you can buy a bowl of rice, a bowl of rice. Now, if you use 2.8% and 4.8%, where do you buy this kind of thing? You have to use 18%, more than 18%. So don't tell these kind of lies to us. Later, I teach my children math. Then they tell us, Mommy, did you say inflation is 2 to 4%? Yes, the noodle price today is 2 to 4%. Then they tell us, Mommy, did you say inflation is 2 to 4%? Yes, the noodle price today is correct. Then they tell us, Mommy, did you say inflation is 2 to 4%? Then I have to teach compound interest all again. If they can tell us how compound interest work in CPF when they take back our house, when they take back our accrued interest, they don't know how to count compound interest and tell us what is the real inflation in Singapore? This kind of government is just lying through their teeth. Why do we have this kind of people as their government? Because the Singapore people, most of them are PAP supporters and they are brainwashed by this kind of simple math calculation. It doesn't make sense. If Singapore is doing good, there won't be more than 10% of the household who can't even afford $250. If Singapore is doing good, people will not be online being single, having the time to make all kinds of things and post all kinds of things. And now there are so many people who become molester, rapists on the street. Why? Is this what we want our future generation to be? Why is it that if they have any kinds of urges, they cannot get married, settle down, have their own family? Because cost of living is too high. We are one of the most expensive city, the most expensive country in the world. So what the PAP tell us doesn't make sense at all. And another reason why we have this is because our chronic capitalism index, we are among the top 10, top 5, top 3. Why? So chronic capitalism means what? 意思就是讲说，那个国家的政府呢，全部钱、全部生意、全部机构都是给他们自己人。你看一看，如果你不是他们的自己人，你会得到什么好处 ？Just look at all the RC, the PA. They tell you PA is non-partisan. You really believe PA is non-partisan? If you believe PA is non-partisan, then I'm still a virgin. And the Singapore government also tell us that, oh, don't worry, we are actually having this GST, but we are helping the poor. If you have your GST system and your GST system is good, why do you need to give GST voucher to help the poor? The GST system shouldn't even exist because the amount of money that the government is taking from our public housing, public health care, and from our CPF money, Every year, the inflow exceeds the outflow. 意思就是说 ，when they collect insurance premium, when they collect all the elder shield, medi shield, all kinds of shield that they tell us we have to pay, the amount of money that they pay out is actually very little. Most people, when they want to make claim from the CPF board, they don't even get it at all. 他们跟你拿钱很厉害，还钱就很难。可是还钱还不要紧哎，赔钱的时候，就算你死了，你要给你的下一代。你可以看到很多孩子要去拿都拿不到钱，为什么呢？那个钱到底跑去哪里了 ？If we have transparency and accountability in this government, we will find out what is the cost of building a house. They tell us the cost of building the house. They tell us S and C C must increase. Taking care of the housing estate is difficult. But if you go to the housing estate and you tell them, "Hey, you 一个月啊，扫地这样子多少钱 Will they tell you they are earning tens of hundreds of thousands of dollars? No, they are just collecting few thousand dollars. Some of them are like part timers, few hundred dollar. And our SNCC is billions of dollars. They collect billions of dollars and end up paying them only just a few hundred dollar, few thousand dollar. This is not right. Where is the money going to? So these are all the things that the Singapore government is doing wrong. And of course, there are people who say that unvaxxed people cannot be here because they want to spread rumour, don't let this event continue. So for people who are saying that unvaxxed people cannot be here, then I'm unvaxxed. I never take a single jab because I was pregnant. And the doctor, none of them dare to write. 
So why is it that even the doctors don't dare to write, okay, I approve for you to take this vaccine, if there's anything, you can find me? Because the doctors are scared. So why are the doctors scared? We even see doctors dying because of COVID. If you take the jab, you die, you choose the option to take the jab. But if you get COVID and die, okay, fine. And this is how Singapore is compared to other countries because Singapore has the highest rate of vaccination. Our government knows how to brainwash the population and make people take the vaccine even if they don't want to suffer side effects and die from it. But in other countries, they know their rights, they know their healthcare rights and know not to do this kind of thing. So in other countries, their jab rate is very low compared to Singapore. And now they are telling us, COVID is going to be over. But during this COVID period, we must not forget, there are people who come back to Singapore that cause us to have lockdowns. Who are these people? People who cause the KTV COVID saga. And why do we have this KTV COVID saga? Because police are being used to arrest activists. Police are being used to harass human rights defenders. Resources are being used to stalk people online, not to protect residents. Resources are being used to find out who all our relatives are. But they don't have to go to the back. What's the name of the back? I'm talking about the back. What girlfriend, family members. Because of this kind of government and their nonsense, we people have to suffer and this is not fair to us. So even if COVID is over, we must not forget those people who died due to the vaccine. Those people who died due to COVID. And those people who died because of the government wasting resources, especially on the KTV COVID saga. Thank you.